come along to see a great match of snooker. It's delivered. Um, we just can't wait to see what's going to happen. Now, let's, let's get this Thank you, one the underway. It's the deciding frame, frame for Trump a place in the final of the Tour Championship. Nine frames apiece. Here's Jed at the table. I'll hand you back to Neil and David Hinn. So Judd Trump to get the decider underway after an epic battle here today in Clad did no one more frame to decide the first finalist. On the head head between them before the start of play it was 10 all. We expected it to be close. We still don't know who's going to come through. He would never have played in behind there. He would have played to the cushion, front cushion that is. That is a very good shot, you know, from there. He had a big swerve into the first cushion, or the only cushion. Big target, I realise, but he played it well. Now, Sullivan's only thing that's not really been right today, because he scored three centuries and he's played some brilliant snooker, is his long game has not been as good as usual. This will be another examination of it. It's absolutely dead straight, this. Well, there's another one gone astray. Effects of play. When you miss the straight ones, the dead straight ones, it really affects you. You think, why am I missing it? What am I doing that's not right? And that's how he's feeling right now. So it's a chance for Trump. Whoa. Screwing into the pack, getting things open. saw him when he left that last red on in the last frame he brought his cue down first little sign of frustration the whole day but he's in in the decider yeah it's only just went in this red but the last frame was like this the black wasn't Six. available trying to score away on the lower value colors never got as far as he wanted to with it Seven. It's been a great game. The audience.
13. Just to say, if you lost pictures there briefly, apologies for that. Well, this has just got shades of, as I said, the previous frame, the difficulty in getting this break started. Yeah, that was a good shot, but he's not 18. finished on the red particularly well either. He's scrambling around trying to get points without everything being there in open play. No one thing, whoever wins out of these two is going to be pretty ecstatic, I think, at the end of it. Differing emotions for Trump, it will be relief. For O'Sullivan, it will be one of his best ever comebacks and a long career, I think. Black, he's on. I've been going in along there, but again, you could miss them. This does go in. It opens everything up. Well, he played it so slowly, gave it every chance. Twenty-six. You've got all the practice, all the hours and hours practicing, getting everything right with your cue action and your mind. It all fits into place, hopefully. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Two remarkable talents of different generations have come head to head today and produced an absolute treat. Well, he's got the angle to go into the reds, but he doesn't really want to do that. Not with two or three sticking out that he can get on. Forty two. Forty three. Well, he could have played. Cannon to the left of the red. If he'd have missed the cannon, he'd be on the on the right of the bunch. Fifty. That sort of a angle hitting into the red was not a good one. Didn't mean to be on this red. Oh, there could be another twist. Of Sullivan very quickly out of his 50. chair. Yeah, and because he gets close to this, it stays in the jaws of the pocket. He leads by 50. Thank you. Yes, and he knows he should have won the match there. 1. I wonder if Ronnie will look at the blue. It's just off straight, taking him down towards the reds. Worth a look. But he doesn't see it quite right as the angle to get in behind a couple of reds to the right corner.
good effort, just not quite far enough. O'Sullivan annoyed with himself that he's got to play this shot. Feels almost like an all or nothing shot. Foul. Wow, he's fouled. He's been called for a foul. Can you believe it? He got the pot. He must have caught the yellow or something there. Yeah, I didn't see it at the time, I have to say. This is huge. Colin Humphreys, the referee. Ron is waiting for the replay. He's looking up at the monitor. He wants to see it again. Foul. Well, he can't see it from there, but it was the yellow, clearly, with his waistcoat. Well, I have to say, I, he called the foul very early, didn't he? But Trump has not taken advantage. It looked for all the world to be over. What a roller coaster of emotions this has been tonight. <laughs> He's tucking his waistcoat in this time. This is where all that running has uh, done him good. This was the earlier foul, just on the left, if you see it. Oh, I mean, listen, it must have been a waistcoat foul and nothing really moved. Five. Bottom line, though, Trump didn't take advantage, missed that red to the yellow pocket. O'Sullivan darted back to the table. It'll be 40 behind with the blue, 59 on. This is heading right down to the wire, this match. Yellow on the bulk cushion could play a part yet. So. 11. Well, this was the miss that followed the, what we think was a waistcoat foul. And his expression says it all. What's going to happen next here? Well, sometimes you just can't believe what you're watching. It's one of those crazy frames. He misses the pink, he flukes it into the yellow pocket. Thank you. Yeah, slightly develops the yellow as well, <laughs> from where it was. He has a chance at this red as well. And he's brought the red into play, but his next colour's not easy. Goodness me. What a game. This is a big shot, really big. Well, he never looked like missing it, did he? And he played it well. Twenty-four. I think everyone's playing on memory here, instinct. Everything else just goes out of the window when you're in this situation. Yeah. Oh, the fluke, I mean, it went in, this, this pink went into the green pocket about 100 miles an hour. Look at the yellow as well, which is slightly developed there. That doesn't sound a lot, but he, Ronnie will need that yellow. It's easier from where it is than where it was. Does not want to be straight 25. on this. He has a slight angle, but the the wrong side to make it easy to get across. Going to punch it hard. 
Witness that nearly stayed out as well. I just wonder what's going to happen next. It's hard to imagine there won't be a further twist. Sure, the same doesn't happen again on the yellow. So he's missed the red. Jump Trump, 19 in front. What a chance now. Yeah, I think Ronnie just, when well, he walked away from the table, he felt that was it. But these have still got to be taken. Like I say, the yellow is still not absolutely what? simple. That's all you'll need, though, if he takes the blue here. Yeah, 25 in front with the blue, 27 on. So yellow is match ball. Well, if he plays this slowly, I don't think you'll be interested in getting on the green for now. Six. It won't be his priority anyway. You worry about the green after this yellow's been potted. He should have played it that way. I think he should have just dropped it in. Trump, Why six. did he play on the green? Thank you. He puts the yellow, he's got a shot at the green, but not at that pace. Can't believe that. Well, he pots the yellow. He's 27 in front with 25 on. But he's played it at pace and he's missed it. That is unbelievable. Sometimes you have to make sure of match ball. If he plays that slowly, I don't think he would have missed it. Well, now he's snookered. Yeah, he's horrible as well. that Sullivan's got now. Again, not easy by any means, this. It's as good as straight. We've seen him miss these sort of queuing shots throughout the match. But not that one. That was sublime queuing. He needs... The five remaining balls. Five. Yes, obviously, you know, the final black is not going to be a gimme. There it is. Nine. He's fought so hard all day. He was chasing the game 6-2 down, 8-5 down, 9-8 down. A ball there from going out of the tournament. That yellow. Fourteen. Well, this will be a tough one. Trump, if he does go on and lose. Twenty. Oh, this is a ticklish one. This is not... Not simple by Quiet any players. means. Five hours, 50 minutes. It's all come down to the last ball for a place in the final. Yeah. And in it goes, Ronnie O'Sullivan, first into the final. And you can see what it means to him. He chased the game all day long, but he gets victory on the very last ball. And he is absolutely delighted. He never gave up, not once all day did he give up. Judd Trump will be pig sick. He had a chance to wrap it up, miss that yellow, playing it at pace when it was all he needed. And you can see O'Sullivan and his supporters leaving this arena. Absolutely delighted. He's in the final of the Tour Championship. He's finally beaten Judd Trump by 10 frames to nine.